Over Christmas break, my husband and I got to spend time with our two nieces, Josie, who's six, and Evie, that's three. Same parents, same house, but these girls could not be more different. Josie is kind, she's loving, she's creative, and she loves basically anything artistic, and she's a big feeler. She can be unsure of herself at times, and she can shy away when she's the center of attention, but she's whip smart, and she pays attention to everything. She also beat out over 10,000 kids and got student of the week as a first grader in her school district, and we couldn't be prouder. And then there's Evie, my good time girl. This kid was born at 28 weeks and she came out punching. She's sure of herself, she knows what she wants, and she can't be peer pressured. She's the definition of love, but she's on her own path. She does what she wants and she'll let you know when she's not down for what you want to do, but she's just fun. And I pray that she stays that way. But it made me start thinking about some of the people that I've mentored over the past decade. And I've witnessed women that have lost that spark and sense of wonder and are desperately seeking to have a return. Who did you give it to? What box did somebody put you in? Who told you to stop dreaming? As we go into 2024, I want to hold on to these lessons from a three-year-old. Ask yourself who inspired you to dream and how can we support each other to rediscover that spark within us?